Hey guys, it's Steve here, cut the crap in, moved to Costa Rica, and I just wanted to show you kind of what's going on. So the electric company, local company, Cupa Guanacaste, uh, we had an issue about uh, three days ago where just behind me over here there's a monkey bridge, and the monkey bridge got twisted in the wind, um, so it wasn't functioning properly. Well, there was a mom monkey, and she had a baby monkey on her back, and they, they fell off of the, the monkey bridge onto the electrical wires, and they were getting electrocuted. Now, we all... Uh, me and some workers next door and stuff tried to go help them and uh, we got the monkeys taken care of that's not an issue uh, they're okay uh, but <clears throat> my neighbor down here she actually works for a monkey rescue and so um, she was helping us try to find uh, the monkeys and make sure that they were okay and stuff but what she the other thing we did is we called up Cuba Guanacaste who actually they installed the monkey bridges to help keep the monkeys off of the power lines and to save them that way so they don't even get uh, shocked at all and there's usually not an issue well, what they did is they said, hey, we're going to send our crew out there and we'll get it taken care of. Now, of course, this is all in Spanish, not in English. But um, so what they have done is they have sent a crew out and I'm trying to see. I can't figure out how to. All right, here we go. We'll just turn around this way. So if you look over my shoulder here, you'll see a crew working on the lines behind me over here. And you can see the guy on the pole right here. And um, so they're, they're taking care of it, getting things worked out. And uh, yeah, there's the guy in the pole, right there. So getting everything lined up so that the monkeys are safe. Uh, so what they're doing is they're re-insulating, re-grounding the cables and making sure that the connections are all tight and all good to go. Uh, so no more monkeys get shot. Hopefully it'll reduce the shock that's happening to them. All right. So love it that the locals care. Uh, the, the workers from the construction site, they dropped what they were doing. They ran over to help. It's interesting. In Costa Rica here, uh, what we would consider the, the primary animals in the States are not the same. Uh, our pets is usually where we would run to first, uh, not these guys. It's all about the wildlife. Uh, pets are more for uh, security and, and helping out keeping critters away than they are um, about... Uh, they just care more about the wildlife. They do have pets and they do love their pets and, and some of them are very special. Um, but the... Uh, Wildlife is really where it's at. They really want to protect the um, ecosystem. They want to protect their environment. They want to maintain their natural resources. They do very much appreciate the fact that the wildlife is what brings them here. And so that's why they'll send these guys out right away to try and correct the problems, anything they can do to make sure that they are limiting their impact on the environment as much as possible whenever possible. That's one of the things I love about the Costa Rica people. They really do have a respect for nature. Uh, they just, they, they, they respect their world. And I so much appreciate that. And I'm just uh, proud to be able to sit here and watch it happen in action. Uh, companies stepping up and taking care of a problem right away. Uh, we have to have power. It's, it's us being here that, that causes the power. And they recognize that if we're gonna do that, we're gonna do it responsibly and we're gonna try and protect those natural resources, the animals, the, the critters around us and, and our world. So big thumbs up to Cupa Guanacaste. Um, I love it. Good job, guy. And uh, so, hey, give us a thumbs up, give us a follow, uh, give us a like, and leave some comments. What do you think about Cupa Guanacaste? What do you think about uh, the way Costa Ricans treat their culture, their, their environment, and uh, their world? So love to hear about it. Um, and Make it down here. Come see it. This is a great place. Even if you say, hey, this isn't the place I want to live, I definitely recommend coming and visiting, coming and checking it out because these people, this place, they're wonderful, they're incredible, um, and I, I promise you won't regret it. All right. Well, this is Steve signing off. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.